Hi, my name is Mitch Rowell. I was introduced to PIMP from a, an old friend when I've been down and out for the last year. I was the, uh, the chef at, at the John Noble home in Brantford, Ontario for five years. After closing my business in the 80s and we had a big recession, uh, I had a small takeout and catering operation. Uh, working really hard and, and was offered a Monday to Friday position um, in a home for the elderly which entailed 365 residents and uh, I made real food for them three three times a day. Uh, awful lot of work but I found it rewarding. Uh, from there I was offered a position uh, with uh, Hamilton Health Sciences. There was a loss in excess of uh, thousand to a quarter million dollars a year they were losing in the cafeteria. I uh, over the years uh, increased profits every year and had uh, I believe in 2009 and 10 somewhere along that area I had uh, two years of a million dollars profit uh, for the Volunteer Association and Hamilton Health Sciences uh, which went to a children's teaching hospital which which made me if I didn't have my own business, I was, I was using my talent to a good cause. Uh, very, very busy, 15, 1,600 people a day, 30 to 40 catering jobs at times, uh, huge amount of responsibility, um, very stressful, uh, very physical. I was not one to sit in the office. I, uh, I went out and did a, made a lot of the product myself and directed our staff. Uh, we had a great team, um, and it was a lot of great years until my health just uh, basically, uh, it was too painful anymore to function. I couldn't stand, my knees, the pain in my hips were radiating, I was getting severe nerve pain, uh, I, I really didn't know what to do. Um, it was a terrible time for me when I, when I had to go off work. Uh, I sustained a lot of uh, damage to my body, my knees, my back. I got to the point about a year ago I couldn't stand for longer than 10 minutes uh, without terrible throbbing in my legs. Uh, I had an MRI done and I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis, uh, degenerative disc disease, arthritis. Uh, I've been on a multitude of uh, painkillers for the last year that weren't taking care of the pain. I dropped about uh, 25 pounds. I had no appetite. I was walking with a cane. Uh, and uh, an old friend introduced me to PEMP, which is uh, uh, something I was uh, a little skeptical about. I looked it up. It's, it's a pulsed uh, electric magnetic field that is uh, natural in our earth. And, and we all get it. It's the fifth element that, that uh, we need in our lives and a lot of people don't realize that. Uh, I worked inside for 17 years in a concrete bunker and rubber shoes, never outside, you know, very long days. So I, I wasn't getting what's naturally there for us. Um, you know, an astronaut leaves our atmosphere and comes back in a short time with bone loss and, and muscle loss because they, they're not getting the magnetic field from the earth. And that's what PEMF provides. So after some research, I, I went to a, a clinic called Roadway to Wellness. Uh, and, and their system is a Curatronic 3D system that uh, is very highly regarded. There's been a lot of research and, and uh, work done on this, and uh, it uh, uh, encompasses a full body magnetic field as opposed to some of the weaker. There's many different brands out there and different kinds, but they don't have uh, uh, the full uh, power and uh, velocity, so to speak, that this machine has that, that treats your whole body. Um, there's a pad and a coil that I'll lay my hands on, which are so stiff in the morning. Uh, they, they feel so much better now. Um, I, I really, really am I'm happy with the results with Roadway to Wellness. Uh, very professional, uh, knowledgeable people. Um, in the system, I, uh, I looked uh, at, at different things in, in different places. 
and uh, this is where I chose uh, after uh, some contact with an old friend and uh, it's been uh, very very helpful and after uh, a few uh, short weeks uh, I'm finding now I can stand for a few hours again and cook for my family and friends Okay, we have some cooked brown rice. I'm going to just throw it in something. Could be a bowl. I'm using a frying pan here to mix it in. We have about a cup and a half of cooked brown rice. We have a cup of baby spinach. We're going to put that in there raw. The heat from the rice will cook the spinach. And our lemon zest, we're going to put right in there. Of course, about three weeks ago, I wouldn't be able to stand this long and make this food for anyone because my spinal stenosis was so bad and I was introduced to a few pep treatments and after a couple weeks, I can cook for my family again, which is a beautiful thing. So we have here a low-fat poppy seed dressing. Some vegetables in the salad. So we've got a half an English cucumber there. Between the pain, I found I was uh, deeply depressed also the last year. And with the pain removing that, that seems to have lifted uh, uh, immensely. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future and what my next uh, step in life will be. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do with my uh, culinary career next, where I'm going to go. Uh, I thought it was over, I thought I was done. But uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Feeling better, I, I'm playing music again. I haven't picked my guitar up in a year. That's so swift, rain won't lift, gates won't close, cause the railings close. Get off your mind in a time, you ain't gone nowhere. Uh, I went out with an old band uh, on the weekend and we played. Uh, for a 40th birthday party. I had an awful lot of fun. Did have to sit on a stool part of the time, but uh, you know, at 55, I guess, and, and how hard I've pushed my body my whole life, uh, that's what it is right now. But uh, uh, at least I could do it. I, I was uh, depressed and really, really didn't know um, what to do. Uh, surgery was was uh, not possible because of where the damage is and bone spurs and uh, the likelihood that it'll just come back. Um, they won't do it at this age, so, so I was hoping for another alternative and it came along. Um, I, I'm so pleased with it. I've been telling family and friends and uh, a few have tried it and, and they're getting positive results. Uh, so I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, I, I would give it a try. Uh, and I'm a pretty skeptical person, hands-on. I, I worked hard my whole life. And we'll climb that hill no matter how steep when you get up to it. I have two beautiful children. I also have four grandsons. Um, and I always thought when that time came that I would, you know, run and lift them and take them to the park and have fun with them and throw a ball. Uh, I wasn't able to do any of those things. And uh, lately I've been uh, a lot happier, uh, pain-free basically. Uh, I've been playing with my grandsons. My daughters have, have really uh, been happy with the improvement in my health. Uh, it's a wonderful feeling to see them smile and uh, I can, uh, uh, lift them uh, without pain and uh, 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 cook for them and, and play with them 
bend down, things I couldn't do for, for a long time. I was using a cane for six months. So it's a wonderful feeling to be able to play with my uh, grandchildren and uh, uh, my daughters have, have been uh, wonderful and are supportful and uh, uh, I have a great family and um, I'm very thankful for them. Uh, they helped me uh, get through some, some very, very tough times.